There's a big alert involving your paycheck. President Obama is pitching new overtime rules that could give as many as 5 million Americans a bigger payday. Yeah, ABC's Sam Sweeney is at the Labor Department with who's impacted and how. Good afternoon. The president says this would be a major boost. The 5 million middle and lower income salaried employees who don't receive overtime. The president says if you put in a hard day's work, you deserve fair pay. President Obama's plan focuses on salaried employees making roughly $50,000 or less. Often managers in restaurants and retail stores work more than 40 hours a week without overtime pay. The president hopes to change this, saying if you work extra hours, you deserve extra pay. You no, know, I think our laws have to keep pace with the with the times, and I think that this change is long overdue. Current laws require salaried employees to earn overtime pay only if they make less than $23,660 a year or $455 a week. This proposed rule nearly doubles this. I feel the president should do everything within his administrative power to raise wages for, for all workers that are making below, you know, the amount that they should be. The White House says this plan's initial effects would be felt more by women and those with a college degree. Critics say the plan will cut job growth, force employers to cut hours, and hurt customer service. However, those we spoke with in D.C. Didn't agree. I just don't think that's a sound argument. In California, we've raised the minimum wage on lots of workers across the board, and what we found in California is it actually helps boost the economy and not the other way around. The president's plan faces several roadblocks in the coming months, but if it passes legal muster, it could take effect as early as 2016. Reporting at the U.S. Department of Labor, I'm Sam Sweeney, ABC 7 News.